Hey guys, it's me Kezia, the world's leading female dating coach and attraction expert for men. Today I'm going to be looking at a two-part question that you should be using when you meet women and you ask them what they do, especially when they're in the fashion industry. Let me explain. As you know, I hold boot camps across the world but my seven day mastery course is held in London. I always feel that London is the perfect playground for my students to practice and apply all their skills and techniques that they've mastered during their stay on the course. But something that we noticed in London and New York and LA, but especially in London, is that nearly every single girl has something to do with the fashion industry. She's either a stylist or she's studying fashion or she works in a clothes shop and is under the illusion that she's a fashion designer. She writes a fashion blog. She writes for a magazine once a week, some sort of fashion related article. And a lot of my students said, you know, Kezia, I like fashion, but I'm not obsessed with it. And what they do is they try and get off the subject or they start asking the same old generic questions that most guys ask when they meet a girl who says she's in fashion. The first thing you need to recognize is these girls are not intimidating. A lot of guys feel that when they hear a girl say that she's a fashion designer, it means that she's a successful um, businesswoman like Tamara Mellon or they're the new Chanel or the new Donna Della Versace. It's not the case. Most of them are working in shops part time and they upload pretty pictures of dresses on Instagram. That's about as far as it as it reaches, to be honest. Um, so don't feel ever threatened by them or intimidated by them at all. Secondly, don't go up to them and say, so who's your favorite designer? That's what most guys do. Or oh, which designer inspires you? You've got to appreciate that these women don't consider fashion as some sort of side job or sideline interest. They treat fashion like a religion. They think fashion, breathe fashion, eat fashion. And you're coming along and you're asking this really disgraceful question to them. It's a bit like asking like the top mathematician in Europe. So what's eight times eight? So if you ask who's your favorite fashion designer, what inspires you? She's just going to give you a whole list of names that you've never heard of. Maybe one or two you, you might have heard of, but she's going to pick these really sort of up and coming trendsetters that believe me, you and I have never heard of. And you're just going to be like standing there like, mm, okay. And she's going to realize that you're not really interested in fashion. Um, it's not your world and it looks like you're trying to become part of her reality rather than understand her reality. It's two different things. Always try and understand the other person's reality, not be part of it. So this two part question is a much better alternative. The first part is you say to her, look, I know zero about fashion. Take a look at me. In fact, I think I'm in a time warp from 1992, whatever year you want to put there. This is saying, I'm completely honest and completely comfortable in my own skin. She will laugh. She will immediately laugh. They always respond with laughter. Not laughing at you, but laughing at the joke that you've created. You're creating a parody of yourself, which is a very powerful thing. A lot of people think that they shouldn't be making fun of themselves too quickly. And what they do is they start listing their attributes. That looks e egotistical. It looks like you're trying to prove something to someone by being a parody of yourself and doing it with such pride and doing it with such confidence actually demonstrates deep inner confidence. Women are very attracted to that and men are likewise attracted to women that can make a parody of themselves. So the second part, you say to her, seriously though, there's so much talent out there right now how do you stay ahead of the competition? It's a thoughtful question. It's not saying talk about fashion, it's saying talk about you. Talking about how you feel, who you are. Do you see it as competition? You'll find out so much about her. You know, do you see it as competition? Maybe she doesn't feel threatened. Maybe she likes the competition. A lot of people say to me, oh Kezia, can you cope with this competition coming along or that competition? And I said, when there's no competition, I become inert. 
I need competition. I need it. It fuels me. It fuels my ambition. I'm a very goal focused person. If I have competition, no competition, and I become bored. Now, just by asking me a question like that, you could get, you could extract so much information about who I am as a person, likewise with any other girl. Now, you can use this two part question with girls from other industries also. It doesn't have to even be just artistic industries, any industry. You just have to tweak it. But the structure is there. You make a parody and then you ask a thoughtful question. Remember the rule, you don't want to be part of her reality. She has to be part of your reality, but you want to understand her reality and have a very transparent dialogue with her. This is far more attractive. She will have a lot more respect for you and you'll make a strong impact. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. It's helped a lot of my students, that little trick. Remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my website www.kezia-noble.com. Take care guys.